questions there's like 20 questions so um, yeah I'm just gonna get into this number one what is your favorite food ah blah 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 it, mm, I don't really have a favorite food like I really love pineapple and I love black rice cake but then again I love pizza and I love salad and I love chicken and I don't really have a favorite food probably chocolate but I don't really have a favourite food. Who is your favourite actor? <sighs> there are so many good ones. It's really hard to pick. Um, but Tim Curry would be like up the top there. Um, yeah. And John Barrowman. And anybody who's been in Doctor Who. There's a lot of people. Um, who's your favourite actress? Um, probably Julia Roberts or Sandra Bullock would be up there for me. Um, along with um, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon. More kind of old school. I really watch very many movies at the moment, so I don't really up on any of the new people's. Uh, what is your favourite song? Um, well, obviously Bohemian Rhapsody would have to be up there as one of my favourite songs. Um, African Zombie is one of my favourite songs by um, Alex Boyer. I'll leave a link down to that. That's I love that song. Um, and also his song Lemonade. Just go check out his channel because he has some really cool stuff. He takes, um, quite often he takes like popular songs and he makes them Africanized and it's actually really good. It's like really, really cool. Um, and um, there are a couple of classical songs that I like, really like. Um, like um, Sonio and the new one from. Andrea Bocelli and his son Matteo fall into me, which I believe is from it's from a new movie. It might be from The Nutcracker, I think. Um, yeah, but I really like that song. Um, favorite movie: uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Pretty much my favourite movie of all time. Um, and uh, Sound of Music. Dogs or cats? Well, I'm allergic to both of them. Um, we have a dog. Uh, we used to have cats. I like both of them. I, I like both of them, but I'm allergic to both of them. And I prefer small dogs over big dogs. Um, yeah. And less hairy cats over really hairy cats. What is your favourite season? None of them are my favourite season. There are things that are wrong with every season. And there are things that are right with every season. I probably prefer transitional seasons, like autumn and spring, because the weather is not as extreme. Um, but that said, neither none of them, really. Who is your favourite? Oh, whoops, missed one. Where would you most like to visit? Um, I'd really like to go to Italy. I've wanted to go to Italy for a really long time. I'd also like to go to England at some stage to see like where the fans came from. It's actually not really England. It's um, Cornwall or Devon or it's Wales more than anything else. Um, yeah, I'd like yeah to go there. Um, I've never really particularly wanted to go to America, even though I have lots of friends there. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> what, 
What is your favorite color? If you don't know what my favorite color is, then you clearly haven't been on my channel for very long. Favorite color is purple, followed by teal. <laughs> Who's your favorite author? Uh, Terry Pratchett would be my favorite author. Absolutely love his writing. Um, yeah. What is your favorite book? Hmm. I think probably anything out of Discworld. Um, and the Science of Discworld series, which is a combination of a Discworld story and actual science from actual scientists. <laughs> and it's really interesting about uh, Earth history and stuff. Um, quite fascinating and very enjoyable. Um, and um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy in five parts, which is an increasingly bad name for something that's in five parts. It's, it's not really a trilogy anymore, but that's what it's called. Um, yeah. Pretty much uh, anything by Terry Pratchett is going to be on the top of the list of favourite books. Um, uh, but there is another book which is... Um, it's basically a fairies book. And it's Peg something or other's fairy book. And I've had it for years and years and years. I got it as a child. And it's got the most amazing artwork in it. It's one of my favourites. So, um... Yeah. I don't really have a favourite. <laughs> I can't pin it down to one. That's, like, not fair. Uh, what is your favourite TV show? Currently, my favourite TV show is Doctor Who. If you'd asked me, like, six years ago, probably, it would have been uh, anything Star Trek. Um, uh, I tend to like science fiction type television shows, um, but not all of them. Um, like, I loved Babylon 5, um, but I don't, I don't like all science fiction. Um, and that's pretty much the only thing I watch. <laughs> uh, I occasionally watch Forged in Fire with, um, my partner, um, it was an interesting program. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I, I don't really watch television. <laughs> What is your favourite drink, alcoholic or other? Coffee. Uh, country or rock? It depends on who the country artist is and what the music is. Or on who the rock artist is, because there are some rock artists I don't like and there are some country artists I don't like. Um, um, my favourite country band, or want of another better term, is actually the Mavericks, which are kind of not really country, if you listen to their music, but they are country. Um, they're known as a country band, but I really like their, they kind of, I think it's Cuban style that they put on a lot of their songs, like I really enjoy that, because Raul Mallow is, I think he's a Cuban or Mexican or something, but he has a really interesting voice. Um, his solo album is one of my favourite albums. Um, yeah, but I love rock and roll as well. You know. So yeah, you know, both of them. Who is your favourite superhero? Um, anybody who knows me knows I don't really like superheroes. Not really into superheroes. Never have been. Never will be. Um, I actually watched probably the last half of Black Panther the other night because it was on the television and Harvey was watching it and I didn't hate it um, but it wasn't like, I mean I thought some aspects of it were like really really good um, and the person I thought was going to die didn't die so that was interesting, it doesn't happen very often, I'm usually pretty good at getting it right. Um, but, um, yeah, I just, superheroes are not my thing. I just, I just don't get it. So, yeah, none of them. Uh, vampires or werewolves? Definitely vampires. Right? 
But not the sparkly fucking kind. Vampires don't fucking sparkle. <sighs> Give me some good Vincent Price type vampires and we'll be alright. Um, unless the werewolf happens to be Lupin. And then... Um, okay. Where are you from? My mother. How stupid question is that? Um, clearly I'm an Australian. You can tell by my voice. I was actually born in Victoria, but I live in South Australia. So I guess you could say I come from Victoria. Which is another state in Australia, for those of you who don't realise. Um, where is your favourite place to shop? Uh, it depends on what I'm shopping for. If you're talking like groceries and regular type shopping, I prefer to go to Aldi's because it costs me less. Um, unless I'm buying meat, in which case I go to a particular meat store. <laughs> um, uh, in terms of other types of shopping, I guess I like Kmart. I don't really have a favourite place to shop. I shop w where they have what I need to buy. That, that would be the best way of putting it. Um, number 19. What is your favourite makeup product? Um, I think lipstick because it has the power to completely change the way a look comes together. So like whether you pick a dark lip or a, a pale lip or a, you know, a bright lip can completely alter the way things look. Um, I really like eyeshadow too because there's just so much option. But yeah, I don't really have a favourite makeup product. I like them all. Um, and the last question is, who is your favourite YouTuber? Um, <laughs> See, that's a dangerous question because people can get, like, super duper upset. <laughs> I, I sassed out Omnia because, like, she didn't pick me as her favourite YouTuber. And so I was like, really? I was totally joking, by the way. Um, at the moment, I would say... My favourite YouTuber is, um, okay, my favourite beauty YouTuber would be Wayne Goss, um, and I'm going to link his last, like, one of his last videos down below, which I think everybody should go watch because it's, like, really important message that he's sending. Um, I think he's amazing. Um, him and um, John McLean would be my two favourite beauty YouTubers. Um, might also be because I really like their accents. <laughs> um, I, they're also the only like big YouTubers other than Graveyard Girl that I actually watch um, or am subscribed to. I pretty much unsubscribed from all of the big YouTubers recently. Um, yeah except for Wayne and John and Graveyard Girl, pretty much. Um, in other areas, um, I really like uh, Nick Zametti. He is a um, wood turner, um, <laughs> strangely enough. Uh, he uh, makes stuff out of wood and resin and all sorts of odd additives. There's a few others as well which when you start watching Nick you kind of get diverted into this whole world of people who are taking things like gummy bears and sticking them in resin and then making items out of that. Like turning them on a wood lathe and making stuff out of that. I love that stuff. I used to do wood turning when I was in high school and I like I loved that. It's like so cool what you can do. Um, yeah, so there's like this whole area that I've like been watching and finding more and more people like Andy Phillips and um, Carl Jacobson and all these other guys that like make all this stuff out of like wood and resin and it's, it's absolutely fascinating. Um, 
Then there's um, like uh, royalty soaps. Katie, she's amazing. Um, I watch a lot of soap makers. I'm never gonna make soap ever. Don't even use that kind of soap. I always use liquid soap. So. <laughs> I don't even use that kind of soap. I love watching soap making. It's so, I find it so calming. Like, absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah, um, Katie from Royalty Soaps and Yellow Cottage Soapery are two of my favourite soapers. And um, also Gypsy Fay Creations and Moonfern Studio, two newer ones um, that I have come across. And. Future Primitive, who's in England, or somewhere around there. She's really interesting. She makes some interesting soaps. There are so many soapers now on YouTube, and they're all fascinating. Oh, and um, Missouri River Soaps. She is absolutely brilliant. I love watching her make soap and listening to her talk. And there's a cut, there is actually an Australian, um, Wicked Lee. She is so cool. She is so fun to watch. And, like, she, she's very Australian. Um, so she'll just, like, she's got a cat. So if you like cats, um, <laughs> well, she's got a couple of cats, I think. Um, but, yeah, she's, like, really cool. So I really like soap makers. Um, so they're the, they're the kind of things that um, I watch. I also watch a lot of um, pimple popping videos, but I'm not going to mention any of those channels. <laughs> That's a whole nother genre. Um, oh, and my, one of my other favorites who I think everybody should like uh, check out is um, Nerdy Crafter, also known as Salty Crafter. Um, she does a lot of reviews type stuff and I, I really enjoy watching her. Um, and PS Toy Reviews, um, Cookie, Swirl, C, and there's another one and I can't remember what her name is. I think it's Cupcake Kids, something like that. Um, they're all doll, um, like toy review company um, channels. Um, so they do like lots of blind bag um, baggings, which I like watching. Um, yeah, I don't actually have a favourite, favourite YouTuber, which is what I'm trying to get at. Because I have such a broad range of things that I watch. So I, like, I watch a lot of crafty type stuff. Um, but I also watch, um, like there's a, a guy who does restoration of paintings, which is so fascinating. I love that stuff. Um, I've, and, you know, sort of um, Simon Whistler's channels, he's got like four of them or something now. Um, so, like Top Tens Net, um, Today I Found Out, and Bio, Biographicals, I think it's called. Um, they're all like factual based things. So I like really like that kind of stuff as well. So, yeah. I have lots of favourites. Um, I'll try to remember to link everybody that I have mentioned, or the channels that I've mentioned, um, down below in case you're interested. Uh, and if I miss any, just let me know and I'll um, hook you up with them. Uh, yeah, so that is the This Is Me tag. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.